What's going on guys? Welcome to another update video. So today we have the second year anniversary event. It is out. It is live. You are looking right now at a massive blob that is being killed by everyone here. So this is a group boss. Uh, this is one part of the update. Uh, I will get to the rest of it. So if you use the event command, it will teleport you to one of the random uh, options, if you will, uh, or hotspots as I've been calling them. Um, right here is the smelly docks. I'll go over them in order, so let me just go back to... Or actually, um, to get to the gypsy, teleport home, and then go to Fez, right over here. And she gives you an option to teleport directly to whichever one you want. Um, so right here, it sort of explains it to you. There's a PVM and a skilling option for each currency. And there's the group boss, which also drops each currency. There's three different currencies. You need all three currencies to buy a anniversary bag. So I'm actually going to open a bunch of anniversary bags in this video. I will have a timestamp somewhere, um, or not, because I'll forget. <laughs> but at some point, I'm going to be opening 100 anniversary bags, so stay tuned for that. But uh, we'll get into it. We'll start off with the Skivids. So the Skivids were from, if you haven't figured out from, from you know, seeing them, these are sort of past events all come back to life. So this was actually the first, lo this location anyways, was the first event ever, the first player appreciation event. And jokers were here, but instead we have some skivids. Skivids function exactly the same as last time. Their drops are different, a little more modernized. Um, they do have other things. If you, I'm not going to go into too many drop tables because you can always see that information for yourself. If you want, join in the game, uh, go to your quest tab, click view drop table, and you can search by monster or item. Um, obviously, anniversary bag is the big one, and then the currency, the trading stick currency. Um, they do have a 1 in 100 chance of dropping a, or not dropping, but a 1 in 100 chance of a superior skivid spawning. So that mechanic is still there. Um, if you locate the, if you go south, you'll find some fungus on the wall. This is actually the second option. They're both in the same location, so that's why I'm just walking. But you have this fungus on the wall, which you can collect. It is uh, relatively slow, but it works. And if you clean it, you get uh, trading sticks. See, it is that simple. Okay, so the next option is Chumpy Birds. Chumpy Birds are the PVM method for snowballs. So that is the second currency. There are three currencies total. Snowballs, trading sticks, and ecto tokens. These drop snowballs. They are, again, like last time, they are very similar to the original ones that came out with a few improvements, a few different drops, including, of course, the snowballs. Uh, if you do get this terror bird wing right here, you can run up north to, uh, in, in this um, cave here. Let me just spawn one real quick. And just go through the cave, and you can fight the jubbly bird boss, which uh, I said I wasn't going to look at their drops, but I, I keep coming back. And just a sort of better version, has a lot better drops overall, and more, uh, you know, snowballs. So the skilling option for snowballs is the swaying tree. This was from an event. Um, so when you cut the tree, you'll have a random chance of receiving snowballs. It is that simple. You do need 69 wood cutting for this tree. Okay, so the next one is the witch's uh, experiment. So this one's a little different. This is for the ecto tokens. So in here, you can drink from her cauldron and you will fight her experiment. There are four waves. The first three don't drop anything other than trading sticks. And then the last one does have actual drops, which are pretty decent. And of course, uh, uh, no, not trading sticks. I know I said trading sticks earlier. I meant ecto tokens. These drop the ecto tokens. So you just kill all four, and then when you're ready to leave, you can leave here at the, the path the below, and you'll be teleported right back to the witch, and you can just go from the cauldron again. So I guess while I finish this, I will sort of show you what I'm using. So this right here is called the attacker icon. These are the main things you're going for. There are four total icons. The attacker icon the defender icon, the collector icon, and the healer icon. So what the attacker icon does, it is a weapon. It is on the weapon slot, and you're basically just using your fists. And you do a good chunk of damage. It has a 80, uh, uh, I think it has 80 strength bonus with 100 crush bonus. So you can see I'm kind of smacking some larger than normal hits there. And there are uh, three different animations to choose from. You can really pick which one you like the most. I was trying to figure out which one I liked, and I just decided it made sense to go with all of them, and you could pick. Um, so this is what the crush one looks like. You, you know, hit him a couple of times and even kick him a little bit. Block one is a smack. It's kind of similar to this one, but this one is kind of smaller and this one is longer. It's more of a haymaker, if you will. This is the one I like the most, but 
um, to each his own. So yeah, it's just kind of a niche weapon. It's not best in slot or anything, and it doesn't have anything that is too crazy useful against. But it does, uh, um, you know, it is it's it's fun, and and it is a game after all. So fun is never a bad thing. So the defender icon. Um, actually, I'll just show you those a little bit later. I, I want to actually show you what they do. So uh, the anniversary bag is the main thing you're going for. Congrats to Reloads, who just got the pet there. Uh, the main thing you're going for is this anniversary bag right here, as I mentioned before. In that bag, you can obtain an item called a Witch's Amulet. And if we spawn one real quick, if you talk to the witch as is, she'll just tell you something along the lines of fight their cauldron. But if you have the amulet, she'll actually exchange it for an attacker icon, defender icon, or collector icon. So that's how you get the icons. Um, I'll show you what they do now, I guess. I also would like to point out one thing right now. At the moment, you can currently wear multiple because they go in different slots. Should I make it so you can only ever have one on at the same time, or do you guys not care about the visual glitch? That's the only real concern I have with it is it visually it looks stupid, and there's going to be a lot of incentive to use multiple ones. Uh, but there could also be a sort of balancing side of it where you can only have one. Um, I don't know. I don't care. Give me your thoughts on that. But if you're wondering what's what's so special about this defensive icon, it does have stats. It is plus 20 in all defensive icons, so it is technically the best defensive cape. None of these uh, none of these moles seem too interested in me. I wonder what would happen if I put this cape on. Ah! They're on me. So what the defender icon does is it makes it so normally aggressive monsters are no longer aggressive towards you. So nothing will be aggressive towards you. Um, I say nothing, but there is some exceptions. Certain monsters, um, Zolra is a good example, are specifically coded to engage the attack. Those monsters, it, it is not going to stop. So Zolra will still attack you, but monsters like, for example, Giant Mole, or even something more useful, Tuz, uh, won't attack you anymore. So that's what, the, you know, it, it does have some niche uses, but it is useful. And, of course, you have the defensive bonuses. So the last two we have, we have the Collector Icon, which is worn as an amulet. And it is the same as the Lucky Amulet, but slightly better. So it is actually the new best-in-slot luck-boosting amulet. It only has five in all stats, so it doesn't have as good of, of stats as the Lucky Amulet does. But, again, it does have a slightly higher luck boost. Um, and then you have the healer icon, which I can't, uh, this is where it gets weird, we have three on. Uh, the healer icon, which I can't really show you right now, it has plus 10 in defensive stats, and then has, um, yeah, plus 10 in defensive stats, and then plus 10 in prayer bonus. So it has decent stats, but um, the main thing that it does is whenever you eat food, you gain extra, f five extra health. So for example, a shark normally heals 20 health. But if you have the healer icon on, you'll heal 25 instead. So it just adds an extra bit of health towards the food, to, or to your food at the end. And so then the last option is the smelly docks we saw from earlier. It is a fishing option. Um, you need a you need to use the bait option. It requires 30, and yeah, it gives you ecto tokens. So once you have 5k of each currency, use them on the gypsy at home, and she will let you exchange them for an anniversary bag. So let's get into the bag, and let's uh, let's open up 100 of these. Um, okay, so these anniversary bags open up, and you, you have to have 10 inventory spaces, and they give you quite a few things. Uh, so you're always guaranteed to receive 250 pub points, 3 mystery boxes, and an event roll. Event roll is basically just... 10 possible items, most of which are opening items like uh, crystal keys, sinister keys, mystery box, elite box, but also on that same table is a cosmetic rare that is only available during this event called the Event RPG, and then the Witch's Amulet, which we talked about earlier. Uh, so let me open up one and show you what that looks like. So you do roll the uh, three, three mystery boxes, and then you get one of the event roll. I believe my event roll was this master casket here. You get a small cash bag rolled as well, so up to 10 mil cash. And then you get two goodie bag, or um, three goodie bag rolls. My bad. Three goodie bag rolls. So that is how they work. Uh, open another one. You can, so you can see Slayer Box is an option. Um, you know, the goodie bag stuff right here. So, oh, we just got the pet. That is the pet! I am annoyed as hell because that is rare, and we just got it, like, third freaking um, pet. That is, the, there is two pets for this event. This is the, uh, the uh, this is like, I, I, this is the anniversary bag pet. And then there is a pet from the massive blob as well. Uh, but uh, yeah, I will open up 100 of these and we'll be back with the loot. Alrighty, the last three. 
All right, cool. So we did end up getting one amulet. I was curious about the amulet rate. I thought it might have been too rare. And after opening 100, I think it is too rare because you technically need four of these. So if it takes you 400 um, your anniversary bags, you, that, it's not even possible. I just don't think anyone would get 400 in that time. So, uh, yeah. Uh, in terms of other good stuff, we did get a $5 bond. Uh, Masa keys aren't, aren't crazy rare, but we got seven of them. Um, two membership tickets. You do get some of these challenge tickets. Basically, every one of these is a mystery box. And then we do have 325 mystery boxes. Um, the attacker icon um, is that's not that's not a part of it. I took that, I took the uh, the event RPG on, so we'll we'll throw that in there too. But that is very cool. We got one of those as well, and that is you know kind of it's on the same table as the the amulet. So we did hit that table a few times. Maybe it maybe it doesn't need to be adjusted. I I'll, I'll mess around with it. You have any suggestions? Anything you you want you, you think we should add, take away, anything at all for the entire event? Let me know. I will have some. Pretty much daily videos the next week or so. Uh, now that now that I'm not focusing on the event, I have a couple days to take a break. I should be able to get some footage in, and obviously with the new event, there's always there's always kind of overpowered, and uh, it's pretty easy to get footage for my series. So yeah, I should see another episode of the God of War set from scratch soon, and then Bankbusters tomorrow. Um, other stuff soon. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.